Hey, welcome back to this Bites for You. In this video, we're going to be doing gameplay on the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 6800 video card. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than most of my videos doing gameplay. Normally, I just use this over the head Rode microphone connected to my camera and it sounds great, but it becomes difficult for me because I have everything in my face and cables everywhere. In this video, I'm going to be using first off my Alienware Bluetooth headphones, which are amazing, but I'm also going to be using the Fifine K690 condenser microphone so that I have everything right here, not in my face, not in my line of vision, distracting me. All right, so the games that we're going to be playing are Cyberpunk 2077. I know a lot of you have been asking for it. Control, Metro Exodus, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Fortnite. Maybe not all in that order. Now, aside from doing regular gameplay video, I'm actually going to be utilizing the ray tracing capabilities of this card to show you how well or how poorly it does. I'm going to be doing it at 2560 by 1440 and 3840 by 2160. I want to show you guys what kind of performance you can expect. Mind you, it's gonna work amazing at 1080p, but with this, you want at least 1440p, if not, 4k or uhd 4k but anyway let's get into the first game the hotline should be in the communications department thanks emily i'm sure i'll have more questions soon just let me know all right so now we're playing control on the sapphire radeon nitro rx 6800 Looks again. beautiful so far. You can see all the reflections. And uh, actually, let's go into the settings real quick. So you can see what I'm working with. God, look at that. So anyway, we'll go over to display. You can see we are at full screen and at 4K, 3840 by 2160, with a render resolution of 1920 by 1080. At 2560 by 1440, it suffered a lot even on nvidia but here we are on high presets which is awesome that we're able to get that high then we can see coming down a little bit longer msaa which usually handicaps anything especially amd did great and on ray tracing we are on high the highest preset you can actually set which is pretty impressive we're going to range anywhere between 45 and maybe 60 something frames per second. Sadly, I don't get to play it much. I'm always reviewing, so still pretty new to me and I get happy every time I play because the graphics are beautiful. Ah, here we go. You can see the frames drop to the 40s. Still incredibly playable though. If we drop ray tracing to medium, oh, don't want to go in there. If we drop ray tracing to medium, it'll become probably the upper 70s. But I know you want to see it on high. Stop it, I'm talking, that's rude. Those are the easy ones. Mm, communications department is not in the bathroom. <laughs> Look at that reflection. Looks awesome. And on the ground and everything, they really did a good job waxing these floors. Uh, 
Oh, these are the hard ones. You gotta get through the armor first. Just go away. So rude, I'm talking. And then this guy. At least he's the easy one. to get rid of the evil spirit in here and cleanse it. It has been cleansed. These graphics are amazing. And just in case, if you want to compare with your own system, I have system specs and everything down below in the description. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping eighty kilobytes. <laughs> Whoa. Stolen by our friends at the CIA. Eighty the kilobytes. Launch codes to Soviet nukes. <laughs> and that's all they would fit on there. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but I would hope not. Look where his fingers are. Fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. We can stab armies. And once, we even launched a cup. No freaking way, a cup? Amazing. Communications are on the right track. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. I know where it could be. So it's not in the bathroom? Come on now. Awesome. It's like jello. Jello on the walls, jello cubes. I keep pausing every time I see myself. I'm so beautiful. Gotta go back. An object of power. Hmm. Oh. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I just realized the ramps are wheelchair accessible. That's pretty cool. Or the stairs, I should say.
like a little frustrate, frustrated kid up there. Stop it! I don't want it! That's so cool. Notice this bridge earlier. Oh, I didn't notice this bridge earlier. And center stage. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, okay, it's whatever that is. Do I just grab it? It is the evil floppy disk. <laughs> it's harder to hear. Teach us to believe. Been changed. The boards in charge here, their pyramids and bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no. I'm not. Director. Hold E to grab highlighted objects. Where are the highlighted objects? Oh, okay. Wait. <laughs> I know what to do. <laughs> oh, cool. All right, let's run through these quick before they fall down again. Okay, they didn't fall. So cool if we were telekinetic in the rear world. All right, maybe. Oh, yeah, these guys. So nice. Oh, you don't even need to be really facing them. That's cool. These guys must not be my friends. I still have my gun out. Hmm. 
Maybe. <laughs> no, 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 no. There we go. Get rid of the Jello Cube man over here. Nice. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. These graphics are just so amazing. This must open the door. This place needs cleansing. It has been cleansed. I feel like I've seen this in a music video somewhere. Such a cool power. No fair, he's got it too. Ow. Should be easy to take out. It's the first boss. Kind of, sort of. Oh. Oh, anyway. Um, here we can uh, see the performance on the Sapphire. God, that's so beautiful. On the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 6800. You can see my entire system specs below to compare with your own system. But you can see just how great it runs. Mind you, we are on the highest ray tracing profile at 4K. Render resolution of 1080p, but we're at the highest resolution. You'll get better performance maybe if you drop it down to medium. But I wanted to show you, you know, the full power of the card. And as the drivers progress and maybe they patch the game, or games, we're going to see better performance. So definitely awesome first step on AMD's part and of course Sapphire's. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump off to the next game. All right, so I was able to show you the Sapphire Radeon Nitro 6800 on control at 4K with ray tracing enabled. I was able to walk you through a few of the different settings so you can see just how ray tracing affects it and all the different ways everything affects it. Ray tracing looked amazing. Mind you, render resolution was 1080p, but the same had to be said for the RTX cards. Now, as drivers improve, both for the RTX and the AMD cards, the performance is only going to get better. Remember, this was an RTX title first. So AMD's doing amazing jobs with that. So anyway, now that I've shown you control, let's jump over to Cyberpunk 2077. All right, so we yeah, are in we'll Cyberpunk 2077, and I just want to show you the settings real quick. So let's jump over to settings. Okay, sound, and uh, let's jump over to graphics. All right, as you can see, we are in the ultra profile. We have everything set to default profile, uh, DLSS off, FX cast off, all that stuff off, and obviously ray tracing. Because, well, we have an AMD 6800. Now let's come over to video. And in video, we're at 2560 by 1440 full screen, maximum FPS off. Three, sure, yeah. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. Huh. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. I'm your daddy. Hi. Right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. I prefer Phillips. Thank you. He's already got the Eddie's for it. What do offer us a discount? Big one. A discount? Huge. Uh, you know, you never did say who sent you. 
never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshawn. That's it. Dexter Deshawn. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica. That's my boy, yo. Nope. He's alive, well, and kicking. Yeah, yeah. His regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? That's what I thought, yo. Bring it, cocksuckers! Cut me a rat! Let's go! What if they go on? So, you may have noticed, I'm not using any sort of auto-aim. I disabled it. I don't like that stuff. So... Just in case. And this is my kind of my first go around in this game. Grab the gear. Bottom control Quick. So I don't know where everything is just yet. Out of here. Got the set. Bot and controller. And you go through the training and, and you learn all the key combinations and everything, but you kind of forget them and you kind of learn them again as you play. Production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. There's no other way. Oh, good. Let's go. Let's go. Vamanos. Nobody calls me chicken. Man, <sighs> I chose the wrong one. Oops. Now I gotta waste another one. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Will. Kinda of funny they blind you but you can still see stuff. Trying to find the perfect combo.
kind of thinking this gun isn't that great, but let me try it out. They got eyes on this turf. Careful. I'm super sneaky. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> heaters or whatever they are that catch you on fire. So stupid. This guy gets right in front of the gun every time. Notes. I can't remember them. We're not all bad, you know. Let's talk. Yeah, I think we should. Fuck! Too late. And of course, I wasted one on the other one. Who's ready to party? Uh. I wonder if this one's any good. So I saw Jackie double fisting it two guns I don't know if you can do if I can do that so so far you've been seeing the performance goes anywhere from like 55 to 79 or something it's pretty awesome it runs great and as I mentioned before I'll stop talking for now That's pretty good. Nate in the air! 
To themselves all right so frames per second anywhere between 55 and 79 let's just say the game does amazingly well you can see my full system specs down below see if they match up with yours it's not a 58 59 or 5600 it's a 3900 along with a 6800 so not the highest end, definitely not the lowest end. Still pretty high end from yesterday. But anyway, that is Cyberpunk 2033 at Ultra, at 2K. I think it ran amazing. At 3K, it was in the 30s, but it was still smooth. So console port-ish. Anyway, let's move on to the next. Oh. I was just trying to upgrade myself to get better visuals, but... Can't do that just yet, but anyway, we can see how Cyberpunk 2077 played. It played amazing at 2560 by 1440 at ultra. Mind you, we also changed to high, so you can see the performance difference, and we made a few different changes so that we can get it over, you know, 60 or over. The game played amazingly well. We are on patch version 1.05. Maybe soon they'll have 106, 107, whatever to officially support ray tracing. Sadly, it does not as of patch version 1.05. I hope it's coming soon, but you got to see just how well it performed in that game, and I think it did pretty well. But anyway, let's get back into some more ray tracing and let's check out Metro Exodus. All right, now doing some testing with the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 6800 on Metro Exodus you can see the detail looks beautiful performance is great upper 60s lower 70s temperatures great too So just look at all of this. It's amazing. And of course we have ray tracing enabled. I'll show you that in a second. The train looks so beautiful. All right guys, hold your breath. There might be some logs of poop in here. <laughs> So 
So if you remember with the 3090, I also did a video on this with ray tracing. Same video, basically, of course. But if you remember, I fell into this part, and then we stopped at this very part and looked at the water, the reflections, and I'd have to say it looks just as good. It looks amazing. Look at that. So let me show you the settings real quick. Options and video. We're at 2560 by 1440. The quality is ultra. I turn motion blur off because that's annoying. But so DX12 RTX on. NVIDIA RTX, by the way. Ray tracing high. We're going to switch over to ultra. I want to show you the performance difference. Hairworks, an AMD proprietary extension, and physics, which is NVIDIA proprietary. But anyway, so let's check it out real quick. So if you notice, the colors on the numbers and everything, and even the text change. Notice there is a little bit more blue now. This It's a bit weird. There's actually a lot more blue. I didn't notice that over there, but... It'll get fixed up in a second. Just look at that detail. Man, that's awesome. Now, here's the part that made me giggle a little bit, or a lot of it. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again, okay? Notice your mark is a smurf. How can they? What can I do? So I'm using the... Initial AMD drivers on this version of the card. But he's a Smurf. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that, I'll fix it in one second. Alive! So you came for her. Now mind you, I didn't see this on the gameplay. I'm using the yeah, AMD I mean, software to do the recording, and that might have changed things. I'll be of some use. <laughs> okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Do so, let me fix that real quick. I'm going to set it back to high, or back to ultra, and that fixed it. Now, oh notice the level of detail on his face. And I noticed it when he was Let's right go. in my face and we were talking. If they notice you, we both done for. But it wasn't blue in the gameplay. You better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. So, I'm amazed at how awesome the AMD software is recording. When you use NVIDIA GeForce on an NVIDIA card, of course, you take a, you know, five or eight frames per second hit. On the AMD software, you don't take any hit whatsoever. They did an amazing job. So, we're on Ultra. Now we're in the 50s frames per second wise. We did drop down to the 40s. At one point. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Simon Mikhailovich, there's a failure at the generators. You should see it. What? Yeah, I totally need you to tell me what I should do. Better fix this line here. Wait. You'll have to take him down. Can you do it quietly? What's with that mumbling? 
Okay, turn it off. No, off. No, off. Off. <laughs> wait, wait a moment. Wait. Okay. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Whoops. I hope the noise distracts him. Let's clank it on some metal. Well done. Let's go. Come. Hey! Go through. Come on. Hey! Good luck to you. I'm telling my daddy. Who the fuck are you? I'm somebody without a potty mouth. No, I think I'm good. Something's wrong down here. Come check it out. Oh, take this bitch! Don't move. Don't move. Morons! We are at war! One death won't be enough for you now, you imbecile! This. It's a universe of broadband radio jammer. What? It stops Moscow from hearing anyone, and them from hearing us. Shit. This fucking sucks. Let's light it up. Do you hear that, Artyom? You were right all along. Do you see? It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world. Oh my god. What for? Because the war is still going on. And you behave like fucking kids. Hold on! All the guards will be here soon. Damn. Run. Don't shoot. I'm with him. I'm with you. You have to run. Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Okay. Thank you, comrade. Guards. You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take okay. the door the guards are coming through. I, I can them. Quick. Okay. Thank Let's you, General Mark. Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar and then go to it. I'll get you out of here. Okay, thank you. So I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't I'll really see well with the boost. snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too Oops. fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Artyom, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Some spies. I'm spies. 
Yeah, sure. And then they just walked in here all by themselves, did they? A chopper brought them and then scooted. <laughs> Enemy! Eric! I took care of your Eric. You know, I'm usually not so stealthy, but it works out pretty well. Let me put everything back to high, just so we can get above 60. Not that it was a huge hit, but, you know. And now we're in the 70s and 80s even. As the drivers get better, I'm sure that'll go higher as well. <laughs> I didn't realize it when I threw it before. As I'm re-watching it, it bounced off the fence back to basically right in front of me. Look at the detail on those sandbags even. Do the superhero pose. Shit! Covering you. Where did that come from? Oh yeah, I forgot to do this. <laughs> that would have helped. Wait right there. Attention! The <laughs> scanning system is coming back Our online. Field. The hangar is right there. We can break through. So the temperature got a little bit hotter on this one. Job, Still manageable. And Inside. like I showed you in the fan control video, off, you can play with the fan curve oh, a little yeah. bit more. But the temperature is still incredibly reasonable. Left temperature is the GPU, and the right is the GPU hotspot, by the way. They just had to attack now, what? these fuckers. Now I'll be stuck here for is somebody guarding the airman? Yeah. They just had to attack anywhere. now, these fuckers. Now I'll be stuck here for at least a week longer. It's been over a month. Uh, I don't think it's going to take that long for you to be stuck here. I should see the drop. I'll help you out on that. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need a big transfusion. That's for the officers. We only get iodine. We get some bad over there. Imagine what you see. It was dark. Something was there. I've only ever been to Moscow River. It's Trogino when I was three. Hey, was there something over there? So nice. Not to expect a bullet in the night and the dark for what? So nice to expect it. See, it wasn't a week. Transfusion, though, probably won't happen. I love this gun. Uh, there was a shadow, huh? it was just 
be, I guess. So, it'll work. Could have been just you, yeah? This guy's peeing over there. Let's get that. This gun is so awesome. So you think you can hide? Not yeah. For long. Not for long. You may be right. Like they said, I wouldn't last for too long, but uh, let me go ahead and load my uh, the game back up so you can see the settings. But if you want to see my system specifications, I have them down in the description below, as well as my Amazon affiliate link if you guys want to check it out. But uh, again, we are at 2560 by 1440 at Quality Ultra. And motion blur low, DX12, RTX on, NVIDIA, ray tracing high, hair works, advanced physics, tessellation, and everything. But anyway, showed you the performance here of the 6800. Let's move on to the next game. So on Metro Exodus, we got to play it at 2560 by 1440 at Ultra. It looked amazing. Mind you, there was the discoloration bug that brought the Smurfs into Metro Exodus. But aside from that, it played great. I played a little bit longer than I should have, but you know, I wanted you to see the performance through a long period of time. And I really ended up loving that sniper gun. I forgot it was there, but I'm sure you can agree. It looked amazing. RTX, Nvidia RTX, that was one of their debut titles. And the fact that it's working on the AMD card, which doesn't do the RTX itself. It does its own sort of ray tracing aside from NVIDIA's and it does a great job in that game as well. Mind you, we could have put it higher, but it would have affected performance. A full list of my system specs are down in the description below so you guys can check them out. You might end up faring better either with the XT or with, you know, higher CPU, more current gen CPU. I have the last gen 3900, which is still a great processor, but you get what you get. So anyway, let's jump on over to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, another, another one of the very first RTX games out. So starting off with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we can see it's chugging a bit. There's a damn good reason why it is though. So coming into display and graphics, not only are we at 4K, but we are at ultra with ray trace shadow quality at ultra as well. This is going to hurt NVIDIA as well, even the 3090. But I want to show you some of the difference with all the different types of ray tracing. So let's come back in here real quick. And it's pretty awesome that you could do it live. So again, 4K, then coming into back into graphics, we'll change the ultra. And again, this is an NVIDIA RTX technology that AMD is able to utilize now as well with the 6800. So coming from Ultra, we can see high. There's a little tiny change, not much. But then from high to medium, it's a pretty drastic change. And then from medium to off, there's not much of a change. So off, medium. Not much. 
Okay, so at medium, we can see we're in the 60s. We're going to get into the 70s as well. Sometimes it'll drop into the upper 50s. But let's go ahead and change a few more things. So we'll go ahead and turn it off. And you're going to notice it, it went up by one, two, three, four frames per second. Medium and off, there isn't much of a difference on the ray tracing side. So let's come across here real quick. How's your arm? A little stiff, but okay. How's your back? Fine. All right. So now coming back over here, let's go ahead and let's change this from off. to high and then you know now we're in the 40s the 30s hey, it's still playable but it's not totally smooth as it should be now let's come to a different area real, real quick now coming back into options and displaying graphics i'm going to go ahead and put the graphics down to 2560 by 1440 whoops Let's apply these changes real quick, yes. And now let's go into graphics and change this from high to ultra. Uh, maybe not ultra, let's try high. All right, so now we're in the 60s. So, you know, a little give and take. And that's okay because most of us if we don't have 1080p, we have 1440. Not everybody's made the full switch over to 4K. You notice right now it just dropped down into the upper 50s. Now I want to show you here real quick. Going from high to medium, that's a pretty big change. Off and medium, nothing. Off, ultra, huge change. But from off to medium, medium to high is a big change. And then from high to ultra, a little tiny change. So it shouldn't affect your frames per second that much, but it does. And I just want to show you that I'm at the highest preset with ray tracing set to high. And you can see at 2K, high ray tracing. We're in the anywhere from the mid 60s all the way up to the 70s. And she plays amazing. There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Got stuck. What are you doing? It's some new oil of LA. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who went to a body bridge. So, the graphics, no matter what, from 2K to 4K, they're beautiful. Adding in some ray tracing just makes it so much better and while it still works at 4k with ray tracing at medium we saw there wasn't really almost any difference and as the drivers improve oh look we're in the lower 50s right now that's temporary though that's true he will I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know that what we're looking for is any smaller room we might have missed before. Okay. We're really wedged in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. Why didn't you test the bridge like I told you? Oh, I'm pretty it looks sure amazing. Maybe. 
think about that. We can take them. If you go left, I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Hey, Sammy. I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Hey, hey. I mean, he's looking right at me with the beautifully detailed hair. He should be able to spot me out real quick. And in a second, kind of from further away so that you get a better view of the differences, I'm going to show you, you know, what you would prefer. Or see what you prefer, actually. Just get in a good spot here, real quick. Oh no, you don't! Oh no, you didn't! Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Stop. Yes. Now that he's dead, stop, please. Thanks. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Take this. Another cheese. I hope that's the last of them. Okay, so I want you to take a look here, real quick. So, right now we're at 2K, and it looks beautiful. So, 2K. With 60s and 70s. And ray tracing. Or do you prefer medium ray tracing, which is nothing, at 4K? Oh, I know. I'm just trying not to think about Both look beautiful, but there are differences. And then let's go back to 2K real quick. Whoops. <sighs> All right. Come on. I so want to put Ultra. She lost right. friends. And then just Family look how beautiful the reflections of the water on the stones and the lighting. This looks amazing. What was your mother like? You don't talk about her as much. She was creative, adventurous. I think she was probably the glue that kept us that. together. After her death, it was just amazing. Lonely. But anyway, again, I just wanted to show you how. AMD's 6800 with ray tracing or ray tracing off worked within Shadow of the Tomb Raider. All right, on to the next. Sweet card. So, Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 3840 by 2160 at Ultra. Mind you, we did have to play a little bit with the RTX shadows and everything, but you got to see how amazing that was. And then the transition from off to medium didn't exist, but going for medium above, you got to see just how drastic of a change RTX could be, or should I say ray tracing. And the fact that we can play it at 4K and have some ray tracing, that's awesome. Mind you, I'm using the initial drivers on AMD for this. So as the drivers improve, like Nvidia does, AMD does the same, the performance keeps getting better and better and better. So anyway, before we go on even longer, let's check out one of the titles most of you have been waiting for. Let's check out to see how Fortnite does with some ray tracing. So Nvidia sponsored an RTX map for Fortnite. And when it first came out, it was very popular. 
Uh, but now nobody's on here, unfortunately. But it still works with AMD as well. You can see here, my reflection is showing. Now mind you, it's showing kind of garbled because of the settings. So coming into settings and changing the reflections to either high or ultra, whatever it was, um, will give you all of that. Now the problem is that due to the card or limitations in the hardware, you can see my FPS drops down to like 30 something. You don't want to play a first person shooter, Fortnite especially, you know, with a 37 frame per second and look how beautiful and perfect it looks like. So putting it back down to low, we're gonna see here just what it does. And mind you, you can still see your reflection and it'll help you if somebody's behind you, but it's just gonna look kind of garbled. And I'll show you right over here on the RTX map. And I'll go ahead and put a code for those of you that wanna check it out in a second. And let me check the water real quick. I'm not sure how the water does the reflections. So nothing there. On medium, you know, it looks perfect, but look at that frames. Look at those frames per second. Now, if you wanted to get to play fine, you know, just put all these settings that I have listed here. Uh, they're not going to give you perfect clarity, unfortunately. It's even going to stutter a little bit on uh, RTX cards. But, you know, still you'll get it looking nice here. And then coming in here, everything just looks so cool. And I'll show you a little bit more about the RTX features in a second. Now, this was my first time inside of this map. So I didn't really know all the RTX features, but let me show you some of this real quick. And I really wanted to put everything on for you guys. But unfortunately, you know, even with the 6800, and a lot of it could have been the fact that I was using a 3900 CPU, uh, you know, it, it got kind of bottlenecked. So just checking this out real quick. I wanna see if any of the reflections pop up. So let me just do a little dance and see you know, what we get for doing the dance. All right, so well, we get the coin, as he said. And let me go ahead and check to see what, the, what this looks like again, going back to normal or low. It still looks great. We still get the reflection on the floor but of course not as good as it would on medium or above so let's get a little more into this i want to show you some more of the ray tracing features just a little garbled I want to see if it makes any difference here. Still looks beautiful. And I really wanted to enable the, the, refle the reflections as high as possible, the ambient occlusion and the global illumination that would have made it look so much more beautiful. But at that point, we're back in the 30s or the 20s or actually even lower. And I wanted to show you the gameplay of it in a regular map, but unfortunately, with the way that it selects the random maps, I couldn't do that. Uh, it was, became very hard to find a map with reflections. So let's jump in here real quick. And 
and let's change it up. All right, so this is really awesome. It looks amazing. And unfortunately, it's gonna be hampered down a bit, but at least on medium, look how awesome that looks. And I'm gonna show you in a minute higher. Why not? Let's do Epic real quick. It just looks so amazing. And it's easy to get lost in here. That kind of scared me. Or not scared me, but just kind of didn't expect it. keep wanting to hold shift all right let's do this real quick jump too far in a sec whoops <laughs> it's gonna happen a few more times unfortunately look at that how awesome Get out of here. Uh, let's get out of here as soon as I can make my way out. And it gets confusing because you don't always know if you're landing in the right spot. So let's go ahead and jump into a real game real quick. All right, so we actually got lucky. I'm able to show you a little bit of what the card can do here. You know, I wasn't a huge fan of this game before. The more I play to demonstrate it for you guys, the more I'm liking it. Problem is, since I'm always reviewing, I don't have enough time to play real games and get good. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. play a little bit with the shark here. Let's let's see if we get any change here. There's always a stutter when you go from the first time going from low to medium, or from off to low. Let's see if we can get that guy back over here. So you notice, switching it, the water does look a little bit nicer. get it a little more loose here and then switching back you can see how those kind of jaggies because we were medium they go away they become more smooth but you know less translucent and transparent whoops wrong place and there's going to be a lot of running here so let me skip ahead for you all right, so skipping ahead, somebody starts taking some snipes at me, and I'm just kind of running away from them right now. I didn't really want to fight, but then I saw this guy kind of getting, still getting away, but then 
I see this guy from the corner. And yeah, let's take one in. I'm not used to this gun. Takes a few shots. There we go. And then I run out of ammo. <laughs> Damn it. And I skip ahead again. Alright, so coming up a little bit more. Ooh, look at them. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. And unfortunately, I had uh, focused only on him. Oh, wait. Then somebody else popped up. And the guy behind me kind of came out of nowhere and I got distracted. And yeah, well, anyway. All right, enough with this right now. Let's get back to the conversation. So in Fortnite, at... 3840 by 2160, everything set to epic. Ray tracing only enabled for reflections. On low, we were able to see above 60 frames per second. And while the reflections were kind of garbled, they're still there. And they're probably going to help you if somebody comes up behind you, if you're looking in the mirror at your beautiful face. But aside from that, um, I showed you how the different portions of Re, uh, reflection how it looks unfortunately it also takes a huge hit as the drivers improve that's going to get better or maybe the xt card will definitely help improve that mind you again we're playing at 3840 by 2160 so dropping that down to 2560 by 1440 is definitely going to improve frames per second not only in epic but under the ray tracing you're going to be able to raise a lot more than just reflections at low so aside from that we tested five different games unfortunately cyberpunk 2077 doesn't have a ray tracing option but you saw how well it performed in that fortnite shadow of the tomb raider control metro exodus they all played great especially comparatively comparatively especially to the competition but I am incredibly impressed with the performance of this card, especially for the price. Let me know what you guys think down below. Also in the description, you'll find every single piece of hardware inside of my system. So you guys can compare and contrast with your own. As always, do click like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And if you like what I do, Go ahead also buy me a cup of coffee if you like. Uh, it definitely helps me out a ton so that I can keep improving my channel for you guys, improving my lighting, my video equipment, my everything. But that's about it for now. Again, this is Iggy with This Bites For You showing you the gaming performance of the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 6800 Gaming. Iggy out. See you guys.